50 times. Yeah, it's three dollars for that. I appreciate it. Hey, here, that that was too much for that. Oh thank well, you. thank you. Appreciate it, sir. <laughs> What are you asking on this? Uh, Five dollars for the whole box. The whole box. Right. Cool. I'll do that. Right. Uh, I mean, that's got a bunch of broken glass. Can I just buy this for five bucks? Yeah. Okay. I appreciate it. I didn't know there was any broken glass. Yeah. There you are. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. We got half my interest. In entry fee back. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guys, I was sitting here listening to this stuff and I forgot that there was copyrighted music playing at that booth. So I just assuming that I'm not gonna be able to show you that footage. Um, but we did get two things from that table. He had some really cool stuff. So $20 on this, he said it was new. Um, but it looks very lightly used and of course with this old technology most likely it's not going to work But this Hitachi stuff does have really good following um, For some reason it's just like super high-end um, So I knew for $20 either way even for parts. I'm sure this is going to be pretty good um, I saw just the manual alone was selling for like 20 bucks there's only one listed for $280 in used condition without anything with it. Um, so this one, I'm thinking, since I just tested it and it's not working, but it's like beautiful condition, I'm assuming maybe 150 plus shipping and we'll just see. Um, and then this Craftsman Compact Carry-All, I've never seen this either, but it is brand new, old stock, sealed. Um, I saw that one just sold for $80 plus shipping and... Uh, there's another one that's there's only a one other one that's listed for like two hundred and ten dollars so we'll be a better option how's it going all right 50 cents anywhere else. all right sounds good <sighs> we're on the vcr Okay, sounds good to me. <clears throat> you are, right, sir? I like it. Thank you, I'll keep looking too. It's me calling you. Oh, he's interested in lenses. In lenses? How's it going? Yeah, do you have these all individually priced or like how? Well, I'm selling this as a one deal. Everything for 150. Okay, you wouldn't just sell individual lenses. Which ones you want? I'm looking at. I'm this looking at the these wide, three. Wide lens. Okay. Uh, I've never heard of Mackinac, so I'm not sure if that's high end or not. Um, but w what would you ask for for something like this? Not what I ask. It's what I'll take. <laughs> okay. I take 50 bucks for them. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let me think about it. Sure. What do you ask on the gloves? I don't. I see one that's marked at twenty, but I didn't know what the other ones were or what they were marked. New ones up here on the table. Okay. He's got twenty for your post. Twenty and twenty five. Twenty for the blue one, twenty five for the craftsman. So does that mean it's twenty for each of them? Is that what you're saying? Pardon. Twenty for each of them then? I'm talking to the the other man. How much on these? A couple gloves. Sixteen for both. Sixteen for both. I'll do that. Okay. Appreciate it. Oops. 
there's 16 right there. Thank you. Thank you. Was the zip ever used? The Fitbit? The Fitbit? Yeah, was that ever used? As far as I know, not. Okay. Do you know what you're asking on it? Ten bucks? What do you have on the VCR? VCR? Yeah. Uh, 15 on it, okay. Have you tested it, man? Uh, no. Would you take 10 then since it's untested? All right. Yeah, I appreciate it. That's usually what I like to stay at with those because, you know. Anyway, appreciate it, man. Have a good one. You got some cool stuff, man. Thank you. It's something we just got out of the state. Oh, yeah. It's got this apple. Yeah, that stuff's cool. You got the Macintosh. Um, I don't know what that is back there. Uh, it looks like a computer. In the box, you're talking? Yeah. I think it's a computer tower. They had all the ports and stuff. Mm hmm. And, um, <coughs> Now this looks like it's brand new. Yeah. Um, I think thing? it's... Uh, Do you have a price in, on stuff like this? You know, I, I'm going to switch this, this keyboard, all the cords, everything. And I know that this is a hell of a deal. 200 bucks takes it all up. All this? Yeah, and this here. And I know this here was like, this was like right around a thousand bucks just for this, this right here. Gotcha. I, I bought out this big estate out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. About three bucks for about a Would you sell just one piece? I'm not looking to ship because I, I buy and resell. I'm not looking to ship that, you yeah. know, those huge pieces. Um, um, but something like this, that's very manageable. Yeah. About 40 bucks. I think that's fair. I appreciate it, man. Uh -huh. There you are, sir. Appreciate the deal. All right. Anytime, bud. All right guys, so on that Apple stuff, um, I looked all of it up there and I don't think I left anything too crazy behind. Um, his offer for $200 for it all was definitely very fair. Uh, it's just not something that I wanted to get into. I didn't want those big heavy uh, computer towers and then monitors. I've broken monitor or I've had monitors broken in the past shipping those. So honestly, I'm not gonna pick that kind of stuff up unless it's like super high dollar. 
So yeah, I, I think I definitely got the best item on the table and for a very good price. I listed that yesterday, already sold it. So a quick $40 into 200 plus shipping. Um, definitely awesome. So um, I'll pop comps up on the screen. The monitor, I think best case scenario, if it was testing and working, would have been like $90 plus shipping or something like that. Uh, the, the computer underneath it that you see, that is a Macintosh 2. Um, I think uh, best case scenario tested and working probably would have been like two or three hundred but the chances of it working properly which I wouldn't be able to fully test um, probably pretty slim parts repair I think was around a hundred bucks plus shipping and that thing is probably you know probably weighs like a boat anchor and then the one in the box the 7200 I'm looking at it on my screen right now the 7200 that had like the keyboard and mouse that probably would have been around two or three hundred best case scenario tested and working. Um, it was not new like he thought. It very clearly was used, just had plastic around it. Um, and then parts repair, probably another hundred, two hundred. So definitely still uh, just not something that I wanted to get into. So very happy with what we got. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Uh, we had a pretty good day out there at the flea markets. We hit uh, both flea markets once again. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. You have a great day.